What's going on guys? Uh, today we're here, uh, a new day, new video. Uh, God bless everyone, I'm really happy. We have a lot of things coming on. Today we're gonna be trying this machine, a GS welder. If you're in a budget for aluminum welder, like, like, cause me, whenever there's not a, a lot of uh, aluminum mobile welders. So basically what you do, buy you one of these machines and then you power up with the cross country or with the Vantage or with the Pi Pro, whatever you have. And then you're gonna be good. So basically you're gonna be a mobile welder and mobile welders like mobile, aluminum mobile welders charge a lot. Um, keep that in mind guys. So anyways, today we're gonna be trying this. We're gonna do aluminum, we're gonna do stainless, we're gonna do carbon steel and see what else we can do. Bueno chavos, ahora vamos a hacer otro video. Video nuevo, que Diosito me los bendiga a todos. Ahí disculpen la ausencia. Vamos a calar esta máquina. Mucha gente, eh, güey, que la Yes Welder, que Yes Yes Welder. Bueno, pues aquí se las tengo. La mera verdad, la máquina sí está buena. No les voy a mentir. El aluminio lo quema con madre. Aparte, si quieres hacer aluminum mobile welder, so puedes llevarte tu rig, tu rig truck. Te agarras esta máquina y se la conectas y te agarras una extensión de 40, 50 pies, no sé, y puedes hacer el trabajo. No hay muchos. Um, a, a, a soldadores de aluminio móviles entonces tú sabes que tu trabajo y tu inversión más que nada más que como esto más que como tu troca como la otra máquina más grande que es el generador y lo que tú quieras eh, o sea tienes que cobrar por, por tu inversión me entiendes no vas a cobrar 5 dólares tampoco pero bueno chavos vamos a hacer aluminio stainless carbón y a ver qué chingados más se nos pega stay tuned guys all right guys so i was i was trying out the the setting up this uh yes welder uh Apparently it runs onto 250, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 250. That's why I guess that's what it's called, 250p. Um, I'm gonna be running at 190. I know it's kind of hot. Let's see how it works. Uh, I'm doing a stainless, and I'm using a 240 plug. This, this, is, this machine is not a 110. And obviously, every time you use a 110 machine and a 240, the 240 is always gonna work better than the 110. Let's try it out. I know I don't have a shirt. This is just a quick demo, guys. You guys probably gonna be like, hey, that's carbon steel. You see, that's the season of cleaning. Just to see how it runs. All right, guys, we're gonna uh, do. Uh, I had to do an over voice because it, the camera didn't record, but um. Yeah, we're gonna do the stick welding and uh, I'm gonna run another one. I already ran one of them with the 718-18, but um, I'm running it at 160 and I'm gonna run another one. So remember, we're using a thick material. That's what I'm saying right there, that if you're using a thick material, you can always go a little bit more than what you're supposed to. If it's a thin material, then you can't, you can't go with that hot because you will blow a hole in it. It's a pretty cool machine and I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty cool. I'll show you the videos right now, guys. Bueno chavos, aquí está, esta es uh, la segunda que aventé, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver cómo se mira. Sola se cae la cáscara. So this is the other one that I did with the jet welder. So I'm telling you guys, every time you weld, if you're gonna get a, a machine, a welding machine, and there's a 110 or 220, or if it's 110 and 220, uh, get that one, don't, don't get the 110. The 110 is good, but uh, it's not gonna give you as much power as the other one. So always keep that on mind. I really like the beast, to be honest. Uh, it will be better on, on, on 160. So, it is pretty good, guys. To be honest, for whatever you paint for it, it is pretty good. So, we're, right now we're gonna do a, a aluminum. We're gonna put some aluminum pieces in some aluminum. All right, guys. Chavos, lo que les estaba diciendo, quedó con madre la mera verdad. Es 
funciona muy bien, la estoy corriendo a 160, es un 8. Siempre usen la, como ahorita, esta máquina es 220, esta máquina no es, no es 110. Pero el precio que estás pagando, aparte de eso, hace aluminio. Pero so, ya, chavos, no, está con madre, la verdad, así me gustó bastante. Sola se cae la cáscara. Pero bueno, siempre dicen, no es la máquina, es el mono. No soy el mejor, pero tampoco soy el peor. ¿Corremos otra acá o qué? Ustedes dicen. Una vez no, aquí. Alright guys, so we got the, the aluminum. We're gonna do aluminum welding. Uh, that's what this machine is known for. But uh, as you guys can see, the 7018 and the tech, it burns really good. So let's see how this one, see how it does with this one, with the aluminum. Something small, but like I said, you can always uh, use it up to 250. Uh, chavos, esta máquina es conocida por hacer aluminio. Ya sabemos que hace el 78 con madre. La, la Giliar también la hace buena, nomás lo único que no me gustó es que tiene que ser flexible. Uh, we talked about, about the, the torch. It needs to be flexible. Yes, welder. The torch needs to be flexible. Keep that in mind, guys. So, uh, for the next future projects or whatever, just put a flexible torch. They're not that expensive. And uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna sell more than what, already, than what you guys already do. So, Vamos a ver cómo sale esta con el aluminio. Ah, la voy a correr a 130 y a ver cómo se mira. Las varillas están un poco viejas. So, vamos a ver. And yes, I'm wearing a shirt now because the aluminum is more stronger and you will feel it on your hands. So, let's do it, guys. September outside for 600 without the foot pedal because the foot pedal is extra. Um, we're gonna try to get the foot pedal and uh, see how it works with the foot, with the foot pedal. So far, um, the art, so you can turn it on, it's here. So it's really good to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, like, like I said, everything's good. The only thing is with the torch. You guys try to make it flexible so, so it can work better. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a lot of more uh, customers. Yes, Walter. Uh, let me guys, so you can see it with the. piensan chavos como ven esta es la de aluminio la estaba corriendo un poquito caliente pero iba un poquito rápido pero está bien no quedó mal what you guys think about the aluminum one like i said i was running at 130 so whenever you're gonna run an aluminum I, i don't really know this machine to be honest but i put it on on ac first and then 2t if you put it on two on on 4t you have to press this one and then it turns on, and then if you let it go, it, it's not gonna turn off. You gotta press it again so it can turn off. So that kinda sucks, I don't like that. I don't like the 4T. So the, the 2T is good. Hope you guys like the video. Uh, there's a lot of things coming. One of them, it's uh, my own world in school. Uh, what I show you on the videos, like if I'm not using my PPE and all that stuff, it's just because I'm doing something quick. But whenever it comes to teaching, we will have our down our, our, with, the, with our PPEs because that's the most important thing, which is uh, safety glasses, face shield if you need it, uh, welding uh, hood or uh, gloves and long sleeve FRs and all that stuff. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna show you a, a little video. There it goes. Of, um, 
the welding school that I'm doing. Uh, it is gonna uh, it is gonna launch on October 18th. So sign up right now. Uh, GTO Welding Services. They're a staffing contractor company. They're always looking for welders. They're always looking to hire people. So guess what? These guys are giving scholarships to for our welding school, for the art show private welding school. They're giving a thousand dollars, two hundred and fifty. We're only gonna have six students. Why six students? Two on days, two on afternoons, two on nights. That's six students. A total of six students. Why? two students per ship because we want you to learn. We want you to get 100% out of us. We wanna, we, we wanna help you as much as we can. So with two students for one instructor, that should be good. Uh, we wanna teach you 100% what we know. So I am gonna be teaching everybody. So I am gonna be right next to you. That is called one on one. Not one on 10, one on 20, one on 50. That's one on one, so I'm gonna be right there next to you, teaching you. You got any questions? I'm gonna be there uh, to help you out. Not just to uh, uh, well learn how to weld. I'm gonna teach you how to fix stuff because that happens on the test. I'm gonna teach you how to fix a fuck up on the test because after the fuck up, there's no there's no coming back, and they will tell you until the next one. So you don't want that. Uh, like I said guys, sign up, uh, send me a message, send me an email. We're only gonna have six people, like I said. Um, GTO, Welding Services, Contractors, and a staffing company is giving a, 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 a scholarship for a hundred, a thousand, for $1,250. So sign up right now, guys, and uh, come to our school. We have a, a, our, we have a restaurant with boys and girls. They're really clean restaurants. Um, we got the uh, we got the uh, the fume extractor, uh, so you won't be uh, smelling all that fumes, all the smoke. And uh, we got the machines, and especially the thing we got the extractor. So uh, let me know, guys. Send me a message. Uh, like I said, GTO Welding Services—they're always looking for welders. They've been looking for welders, and we're gonna provide them. We're gonna provide them welders, them good welders, for those projects. So send me a message guys or anything, uh, send me an email, uh, I, I will respond as soon as I can. Like I said, there's only six spots available, let me know, contact me, and I'll, and I'll send you all the information. Thank you for watching and thank you for all the support guys.